students this video lecture is on the subject information theory and coding in this class we'll see a problem with different coding algorithm that is we'll try to solve one problem by applying all the encoding algorithms and compare its efficiency given the source s is equal to s1 s2 s3 s4 s5 s6 s7 s8 and s9 that is nine symbol values with respective probabilities as 0 0.49 0 0.105 0 0.105 0 0.105 0 0.05 0 0.0225 0 0.0225 0 0.0225 and 0 0.0225 respectively find the following First question is find the Shannon's code by applying the encoding algorithms and find its efficiency. Second, Shannon Fano code and its efficiency. Third, Shannon Fano ternary code and its efficiency. Fourth question, Huffman code and its efficiency. Fifth question, Huffman ternary code and its efficiency. Sixth question, Huffman quaternary code and its efficiency. That is for the given same data, we are going to apply all the algorithm and find its efficiency. This first question is finding the Shannon's code, applying your Shannon's encoding algorithm. Hope you know what is Shannon's encoding algorithm states. So you have uh, some five steps. Okay, so what are those five steps? We'll do it accordingly. Okay, Shannon's encoding algorithm. So we know what are the data given. First step is arranging the given probabilities in decreasing order. So the probability is already in decreasing order. So we'll write step one. Step 1 is nothing but 0.49 lesser than or equal to 0 0.105 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 lesser than or equal to 0 0.0225 lesser than or equal to 0 0.0225 lesser than uh, lesser than uh, or equal to 0.0225 lesser than or equal to 0.0225 so this is the first step of your algorithm next step step 2 is nothing but finding the alphas so alpha 1 is equal to 0 alpha 2 is nothing but p1 which is 0 0.49 alpha 3 is nothing but p1 plus p2 at the probability value so we'll get alpha 3 is equal to 0 0.595 alpha 4 is equal to uh, add uh, p1 plus p2 plus p3 you are going to get 0 0.7 alpha 5 will be equal to 0 0.805 alpha 6 is uh, 0 0.91 alpha 7 will be equal to 0 0.5 9325 alpha 8 will be equal to add the probability 0 0.0225 so you are going to get it as 0 0.955 alpha 9 you are going to get it as 0 0.9775 alpha 10 will be equal to uh, 1 okay so this is your six step 2 of your algorithm Next step 3 uh, is finding the length. Okay, so step 3 is finding the length where we write the formula 2 to the power of li should be greater than or equal to 1 by pi. Now for i is equal to 1, 2 to the power of l1 should be greater than or equal to 1 by p1 which is 1 by 0 0.49 which comes to around 2.04. So therefore your l1 will be equal to uh, 2. Next for i is equal to 2, 2 to the power of L2 will be greater than or equal to 1 by P2 which should be equal to, we will substitute the P2 value which is 0 0.105. So you get this value as around 9.523. Therefore your L2 will be equal to 4. Similarly P3, P4, 
uh, and P5 are same value. So, we can write directly L3 will be equal to L4 will be equal to L5 will be equal to 4. Okay. Next, for I is equal to uh, 6 now, 2 to the power of L6 should be greater than or equal to 1 by P6. So, just substitute the value. You are going to get this value as around 39.215. Therefore, your L6 will be equal to uh, 6, so which satisfies the condition. Now, L7, L8 and L9 are going to have the same value as the probabilities are same. So, we can write L7 is equal to L8 equal to L9 which will be equal to 6. Hence, the length of the code words we can write it as L1 will be equal to 2. L2 equal to L3 equal to L4 equal to L5 equal to uh, 4. Then L6 equal to L7 equal to L8 equal to L9 which is equal to 6. So, these are the corresponding lengths of your code for the given probability. Next step uh, 4 is nothing but converting the alpha i's into the respective binary uh, value. So, we know alpha 1 is equal to 0 and we have got L2 uh, sorry L1 as 2. So, therefore, the code for the first symbol will be 0, 0. Next, we have got alpha 2 is equal to 0.49 and uh, we got L2 equal to 4. So, we will just try to convert it into binary. What is the value we are going to get after binary is 0, 0 0.0. Uh, 111 in binary and we'll take the code word directly from this which should be of length 4 so code will be 0 uh, 111 next alpha 3 is uh, 0 0.595 and we have got uh, l3 is also equal to 4 convert it into equivalent binary form you are going to get it as 0 0.1011 in binary therefore we can write the code as 1011 next we will write alpha 4 which is equal to 0.7 and we have got l4 equal to 4 so we will convert it into respective binary value so we will get it as 0 0.10 1 1 in binary form therefore we can write the code as 1 0 1 1 1 so this is not 0 so this should be 0 so this is 0 sorry. okay next alpha 5 will be equal to uh, 0 0.8 0 5 and we have got L5 equal to 4. We will convert it into binary form. So, you are going to get it as 0 0.1100 in binary. So, we can write the code as uh, 1100. Next alpha 6 is equal to 0.91 and L6 is equal to 6 and the respective binary code will be 0 0.1110 in binary. So, the code will be equal to you can write this code as 111010. Alpha 7 is 0 0.9320. 2, 5 and we have got L7 uh, as 6. So, the respective code for this will be 0 0.111011 in binary. So, we can write the code as 111011. Alpha 8, we got it as 0 0.955 and the length L8 was equal to 6. So, we will convert it into respective binary value. We are going to get it as 0 0.111101 in binary. So, the code will be equal to 111101. Next, alpha 9, we got it as 0 0.9775 and L9 was equal to 6 and after converting it into binary, we are going to get it as 111111. 0 in binary. So, the code word for the last symbol will be equal to 111110. So, this is how we are going to get the respective code by use applying the step 4 of an algorithm. Step 5 of the algorithm is finding the code words up till the length li and discarding the remaining uh, bits. So, we will try to write uh, the probability value in the 1, the respective code and the respective 
then what we have obtained as per the algorithm so we'll write the probabilities 0 0.49 0 0.105 0 0.105 0 0.105 0 0.105 0 0.0225 0 0.0225 0 0.0225 and 0 0.0225 so these are the respective probabilities given and we have obtained the code as 00 then 0 1111 then you have obtained 111010111011011011 and the last code word is 11111 and 0. We we'll write the respective length of the code word. First code word is length 3, 4, 4, 4, 4. Then you have 6, 6, 6 and 6 as the code word. Then we are supposed to find the code efficiency for this particular Shannon's encoding algorithm. So code efficiency is given by the formula eta c which is equal to h of s divided by l. And h of s is given by the formula i is equal to 1 to q and q is nothing but 9 symbols here. So pi into log 1 by pi which is to the base 2. So just substitute the value of probability, you will get the entropy. So we will get entropy as 2.362626 bits per symbol. So this is your entropy for the given probability value. Next L, average length L is given by the formula summation i is equal to 1 to q and q is 9 here L i into pi. Substitute the respective length and probability. You will get the average length code word L as 3.2 bits per symbol. Now substitute the value of uh, L and uh, h of s in the code equation that is code efficiency you will get efficiency eta c is equal to uh, 73.83 percentage so this will be the efficiency for your shannon's encoding algorithm second question is finding the shannon's uh, fano code so we know the algorithm steps so we'll try to solve this particular shannon fano code for the same uh, data as given so you have the probability as 0 0.49 0 0.105 0 0.105 0 0.105 0 0.105 0 0.0225 0 0.0225 0 0.0225 0 0.0225 0 0 and 0.0225 so first step is telling that you have to group the probability such that it is equally uh, divided into 0.5 and 0.5 so equally divided or approximate value is 0.49 as one group and the remaining probabilities will be grouped into uh, as the second uh, group in your Shannon's algorithm or Shannon Fano algorithm. Now, the first group is assigned as 1 and the second group probabilities will be assigned as zeros. So, this is the first step. Next, we are going to subgroup the probability. So, this total sum value comes to 0 0.51. So, 0 0.51 divided by 2, it comes to 0 0.255. So, we cannot uh, group it into 0 0.255, but approximate value will be 0 0.21, which we can obtain by grouping the first two probabilities, that is 0 0.105 and 0 0.105. Then the next subgroup will be the remaining probabilities which is 0 0.105, 0 0.105, 0 0.105, then you have 0 0.0225, 0 0.0225, 0 0.0225 and 0 0.0225. Now assign the first subgroup with 1 and the remaining uh, subgroup probabilities with zeros. 
Next again we are going to split this since you have only two probability values we can group first group as 0.105 second subgroups as 0.105 and assign it with 1 and zeros. Now the next subgrouping is uh, we are going to divide uh, it into equal halves the total sum comes up to around uh, point, uh, uh, 0.15. Uh, approximate value so 0.1 approximate value we cannot uh, do it as 0.15 so we'll group 0.105 as one group and the remaining uh, value has one more uh, grouping value so you are going to group it like this so 0.105 then uh, 0.0225 uh, 0.0225 0.0225 and 0.0225 so now assign the first subgroup with 1 and the next subgroup with uh, zeros next is uh, we are going to divide it into equal half probability so we can write 0.105 as one group and the remaining four values as one more uh, group so 0.0225 0.0225 0.0225 and 0.0225 assign 1 to this and zeros to this again group the first value as 0.0225 0.0225 as one group then the next two value probabilities as one group so 0.0225 0.0225 assign 1 for one subgroup and zeros to the next one next again you are grouping this value and writing assigning it as 1 so 0 0.0225 as 1 then the next subgroup 0 0.0225 as one more group assign it as 0 then again this group as 0 0.0225 assign it as 1 and the next subgroup as 0 0.0225 as 0 so now uh, we can write the code by reading it uh, row wise so we'll get the code word or respective code word along the rows if you read so the first symbol value is going to have so you're going to read it like this so you'll get the code word as 1 next row value you are going to get the code word as 0 1 1 third row you are going to get it as 0 1 0 fourth row you are going to get it as 0 0 1 fifth row you are going to get it as 0 0 0 1 then the next code will be uh, four zeros 0 0 0 0 1 1 the next code will be after uh, reading the row value you are going to get it as 0 0 0 0 uh, 1 0 the last next row you are going to get it as 4 zeros 0 1 and the last code word will be 4 zeros and 0 0 so this is, will be the code word for your uh, symbol probability by applying your Shannon Fano code next we will try to find code efficiency of the code word now we'll write the code we'll write uh, the probability and we'll write the respective length so as per the shannon's uh, uh, fano code you'll get the code word as 1 0 1 1 0 1 0 0 1 0 0 0 1 0 0 0 0 1 1 0 0 0 0 1 0 0 0 0 0 0 1 0 0 0 0 0 0 and the respective probabilities are 0 0.49 0 0.105 0 0.105 0 0.105 0 0.105 0 0.105 0 0 0.0225 0 0.0225 0 0.0225 0 0.0225 so these are the respective probabilities and codes what you have obtained as per the algorithm the length will be 1 3 3 3 4 6 6 6 and 6 now find the code efficiency for this particular Shannon Thano code so code efficiency is given by the formula eta c is equal to h of s by l and h of s formula is summation of pi is equal to 1 to 9 
pi into log 1 by pi substitute the value you are going to get the same entropy value because probability values are same so you will get 2.3626 bits per symbol next uh, capital L that is average length code word is summation of pi is equal to 1 to 9 pi into li now the length of the code word is different here so we will get the average length code word as 2.39 5 bits per symbol. Now substitute the value of uh, L and H of S in your code efficiency formula. So code efficiency eta C for Shannon Pano code you are going to get it as 98.64 percentage. So which is better than your, your better than your Shannon's encoding algorithm. Uh, is finding the uh, Shannon Pano uh, ternary code. So for Shannon Pano ternary code, we need to group uh, the codes which is equally divided into three parts uh, with probability value approximately equal to 0.33. So here uh, the probability values are given as 0.49, then you have 0.105, 0.105. 0 0.105, uh, 0 0.105, uh, 0 0.0105, 0 0.0205, 0 0.0225, 0 0.0225, 0 0.0225, 0 0.0225, 0 0.0225. So we don't have 0 0.33 approximate value. So we are going to group the first value as 0.49 as one group and this value will come to around approximately 0.33 so this one group and we are going to group the last uh, as one more group. Now we are going to assign it as to the second group with one and the last group with uh, zeros. Next again we are going to group this into three equal halves so we have three probabilities so we are going to divide it into each probability value so 0 0.105, 0 0.105 and uh, 0.105 so this comes to first subgroup 2, 1 and 0. Next the last subgroup we are going to divide it into equal halves so first value will be approximately uh, 0 0.105 which will be the one group the next subgroup will be this value which is 0 0.0225 and uh, the last subgroup as the remaining three probability value which is 0 0.0225 uh, 0 0.0225 and 0 0.0225 now assign it with 2 1 and zeros then the next last grouping is this value where we are going to group it as 0 0.0225, uh, 0 0.0225 and 0 0.0225. Now assign it with 2, 1 and 0. Now we are going to read the code along the uh, row wise. So the first row value or this row value we are going to give you the code 2 the next row as 1 2 the third row as 1 1 the fourth row will give the code as 1 0 the next row will be 0 2 the next row code we are going to get it as 0 1 the next row 0 0 2 the next row as 0 0 1 and the last row code will be 0 0 0 so this is the respective code for Shannon Fano ternary code we will find the code efficiency for the Shannon Fano ternary code so for that we will write the code the respective probabilities and the respective length so uh, code uh, obtained is uh, 2 1 2 1 1 1 0 0 2 0 1 0 0 2 0 0 1 and 0 0 0 as per the uh, algorithm and the probabilities are 0 0.49 0 0.105 0 0.105 0 0.105, 0 0.105, 0 0.0205, uh, 0 0.0225, 0 0.0225, 0 0.0225, 0 0.0225, and the respective length will be 1, 2, 2, 2, 2, 1, 2, 2, 1, 2, 2, 1, 2, 2, 1, 2, 2, 1, 2, 2, 1, 2, 2, 1, 2, 2, 1, 2, 2, 
टू टू थ्री थ्री एंड थ्री नेक्स्ट इज फाइंडिंग दि कोड एफिशियंसी सो टू फाइंड दि कोड एफिशियंसी वी नो दैट कोड एफिशियंसी इज गिवन बाय दि फॉर्मुला इटा सी इज इक्वल टू एच ऑफ एस डिवाइडेड बाय एल दिस इज अ जनरल केस नाउ फॉर टर्नरी कोड वील जस्ट राइट इट एज एच आर ऑफ एस वेर एच आर ऑफ एस इज नथिंग बट एच ऑफ एस दैट इज एंट्रोपी डिवाइडेड बाय लॉक टू द बेस टू ऑफ आर so h of s we have got it as 2.3626 and r is equal to 3 for ternary coat so log to the base 2 of 3 after substitution we are going to get h r of s is equal to 1.49 trinits per symbol so this will be your entropy next l is given by the formula summation i is equal to 1 to 9 pi into li substitute the respective probabilities and the length will get l is equal to 1.5775 trinits per symbol now we have got the value of l and the value of hr of s will which will substitute in code efficiency formula so eta c will be equal to 94.45 percent so this will be the efficiency for shannon fano ternary code fourth question is finding the uh, huffman code so we'll apply the huffman code and uh, find its efficiency so the first step is arranging the given probabilities in decreasing order so it's already in decreasing order we'll write the value 0 0.10 0.105 0.105 0.105 0.0225 0.0225 0.0225 0.0225 0.0225 0.0225 0.0225 0.0225 0.0225 0.0225 0.0225 0.0225 0.0225 0.0225 0.0225 0.0225 0.0225 0.0225 0.
next this 111 will shift back as it is then you have 110 uh, this 0 is as it is 10 has to be splitted now so 101 and 100 so this is 110 this is 101 this is 100 0 is as it is now 111 has to be split so 111 1 111 1 0 so this is 0 this is 110 101 100 111 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 
0.4 we'll add the last three symbol values and arrange it in decreasing order so 0 0.49 0 0.105 0 0.105 0 0.105 0 0.105 this added value which comes to around 0 0.0675 this value will be shifted here so 0 0.0225 and the last three symbol values it comes to around 0 0.195 so 0 0.49 this added value here so 0 0.195 this shift here 0 0.105 0 0.105 0 0.105 and these three you are going to get 0.315 so 0 0.49 this added value here so 0 0.315 this value here so 0 0.195 next is we are going to assign the value as ternary code we dissect 2 1 and 0 so we'll assign it so 2 1 and 0 so 2 will be as it is 0 will be as it is this 1 1 has to be splitted as 1 2 1 1 0 0 so we'll move it so 2 this is 1 2 this is 1 1 this is 0 0 and 0 has to be uh, splitted now so 0 2 0 1 and 0 0 next again we'll come back so 2 1 2 1 1 0 0 0 2 uh, this will be 0 0 now 0 1 has to be splitted into 3 so 0 1 2 0 1 1 0 1 and 0 so this I, this is the respective code using your Huffman ternary algorithm now to find the code efficiency we'll write the code we'll write the length and we'll write the probability so code is 2 2 2 2 1 2 0 0 2 0 0 0 1 2 0 1 1 and 0 1 0 and the respective length is 1 2 2 2 2 2 3 3 and 3 and the probabilities are 0 0.49 0 0.105 0 0.105 0 0.105 0 0.105 and 0 0.0225 0 0.0225 0 0.0225 and 0 0.0225 now to find the code efficiency we know uh, eta c is equal to h r of s divided by l and h r of s is nothing but h of s divided by log to the base 2 of r r is equal to 3 substitute the value to h of s is 2.3626 divided by log to the base 2 of 3 for ternary code so h r of s will be equal to 1.49 trinits per symbol and uh, uh, L is equal to summation I is equal to 1 to 9 PI into LI which you are going to get as 1.5775 trinits per symbol. So we have got now uh, what is uh, H of S and L here. So substitute in code efficiency. So finally we will get code efficiency for Huffman Turner code as 90. The last question uh, in this problem is finding the Huffman uh, quaternary code. So for quaternary code also again we need to uh, check the condition or we need to check one equation which is given by Q is equal to R plus R minus 1 into alpha. So here R is equal to 4. So Q minus 4 divided by 3 is equal to alpha. So we need to find the value of Q such that this uh, alpha should be a integer value. So we are going to get the value of Q as 7 10 and so on so the nearest value is 10 so hence we are going to insert one symbol with zero probability and solving the problem so we will just try to solve the problem so given probabilities are 0 0.49 
जीरो पॉइंट वन जीरो फाइव 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 जीरो पॉइंट जीरो टू फाइव 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 फाइव एंड वी आर गोइंग टू एड वन मोर सिंबल नाउ वी आर गोइंग टू एड द लास्ट फोर सिंबल्स एंड अरेंज इट इन डिक्रीजिंग ऑर्डर सो अगेन वी आर गोइंग टू गेट जीरो पॉइंट फोर नाइन जीरो पॉइंट वन जीरो फाइव 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 दिस एडेड प्रोबेबिलिटी वैल्यू इट कम्स टू अराउंड जीरो पॉइंट जीरो सिक्स सेवन फाइव एंड वी आर गोइंग टू मूव दिस इयर सो जीरो पॉइंट जीरो टू फाइव फाइव अगेन एट द लास्ट फोर सिंबल वैल्यू सो यू आर गोइंग टू गेट द वैल्यू एज पॉइंट थ्री सो जीरो पॉइंट फोर नाइन द नेक्स्ट वैल्यू विल बी पॉइंट थ्री एंड यू आर गोइंग टू शिफ्ट दिस वैल्यू जीरो पॉइंट वन जीरो फाइव हियर एंड जीरो पॉइंट वन जीरो फाइव हियर नेक्स्ट वी आर गोइंग टू पुट द कॉटन एरी कोड विद द सेट ऑफ थ्री टू एंड वन एंड जीरो सो थ्री टू वन जीरो विल मूव बैक सो थ्री विल बी एज इट इज देन वन एज इट इज जीरो एज इट इज टू हैज टू बी स्प्लिटेड नो सो टू एंड थ्री देन टू एंड टू टू एंड वन टू एंड जीरो अगेन विल राइट दिस कोड एज थ्री वन जीरो टू थ्री टू टू दिस इज टू जीरो एंड नाउ वी आर गोइंग टू स्प्लिट टू वन सो टू वन थ्री टू वन टू टू वन वन टू वन जीरो फॉर एनी अदर कैलकुलेशन वन यू आर डूइंग द एंट्रोपी एंड फाइंडिंग द एवरेज लेंथ दिस लास्ट सिंबल वैल्यू इज डिस्कार्डेड इन द कैलकुलेशन to find the code efficiency we'll write the code the respective probabilities and the length of the given code so code what we have got is 3 then 1 0 2 3 2 2 2 0 2 1 3 2 1 2 and 2 1 1 and the probabilities are 0.49 0.105 0.105 and 0.0255. Now the length corresponding to the code words are 1, 1, 1, 2, 2, 2, 3, 3, 3. Now uh, we'll find the code efficiency. So code efficiency is given as eta c is equal to h r of s divided by l, and h r of s is nothing but h of s divided by log to the base uh, 2 of r, and r is equal to 4. So h of s is 2.3626 divided by uh, log to the base 2 of 4. So you are going to get h r of s as 1.1813 quaternary per Uh, symbol okay so this is the unit for uh, quaternary codes similarly l is given by the equation i is equal to 1 to q pi into li after substitution l you are going to get it as 1.3675 quaternary uh, per symbol so this is what you are going to get as h r of s and l so once we get this we are going to write this l and hr of s in the code efficiency so finally we'll get the code efficiency for quaternary code as 86.38 percentage